what are you guys just recording here? The post office doesn't want you standing here recording them on their property. If you guys want, you can go across the road. You expect the worst. You think you're going to get put on YouTube and make a fool out of yourself, and that's what you do. Man, kick rocks. Get the hell out of here. Adios. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. And we are coming to you today from Sault Ste. Marie in Michigan. Uh, we are actually right across the border from Canada. Uh, river, the border runs right down the middle of the river. I'll show you a quick shot of that now. Pretty cool, haven't seen uh, Canada in 40 years exactly. I was 12 years old, went to Montreal with my father, long time ago. But uh, we are coming to you today from the United States Post Office here in Sault Ste. Marie. And we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. As usual, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And uh, let me just give you a little, we're at a busy intersection here. Let me just give you a little view of the uh, neighborhood where we are. There's a thrift store here. Got the guys in the tow truck yelling at us. Screaming Amagansett Press. Never thought so many people would know the name Amagansett. So laundry service here, post office diagonally across the street. Sioux Printing Company right here. Yes, sir. Can't believe it. How are you, man? Big fan. Pleasure to meet you. Been watching you forever. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Didn't go well at Escanaba. Well, they all go well. They so, go I'm sure well. somebody gets something positive out of all I of them. I was hoping you were going to be here sooner or later. Yeah, we're here. Good to meet you, Beautiful guys. Beautiful spot. Yeah. Ben. Ben? Ben. Ben, yeah. And what was your first name? Eugene. Eugene. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Pleasure to we meet you. We appreciate your support, man. Love what you do. Thank you, buddy. Have a great day. You too. All right, guys, and uh, usually I give you the time and temperature check while I'm showing around, showing you around, but we'll do that now. Today is Friday, June 24th, 2022. It is 2.10 in the afternoon, and it is 81 degrees, sunny, breezy, and absolutely beautiful here in uh, Sault Ste. Marie. We'll see how it goes, guys. This should be an interesting one. Stand by. Hey, make it out there, Watchmen. What's up? What's happening? Welcome to Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah. Until we got here, I thought it was Salt Ste. Marie. If you look up how it's spelled, but it's yeah. Sault Ste. Marie is the way they pronounce it. And uh, glad I got it right in the video here. I've been practicing all morning. But uh, yeah, so you ready to go uh, check the folks, folks yeah. out at the post office here? Very cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. So uh, just so you guys know who uh, don't follow our channels, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, those of you who follow our channels already know. What we're going to do is... Uh, we'll give you a tour of the outside of the building here, check out the area around the post office. Uh, take a look at the back, at the loading dock, the employee parking lot, the public parking lot, see what's going on. Uh, and then we'll check out what kind of signage we have on the uh, doors. And then we will at some point be going in to get a stamp. So uh, stay tuned. A lot of construction going on in the area, a lot of improvements. I guess they have, uh, I'm assuming they have harsh winters here and you can't do a lot of this asphalt and road work when it's cold out. So unfortunately, they have to do it in their season. So uh, let's see. I have a couple of cones out here. Post office parking only. Same thing on the other one. So this, this is the public parking lot, customer parking lot for the post office. And always remember, guys, when you're on postal property, you are bound by 39 CFR Part 232.1B2. So uh, don't bring your no-go items to the post office. Uh, as you guys can see also, there are no restricted area, no trespassing signs. Uh, this is the employee section here, their loading docks. Here's a uh, shot of one of their male Jeeps. 
And you can see here's their loading dock. They have a lot of loading docks here. Decent sized post office. What'd you say, there's about 20,000 people in Sault Ste. Marie? I think it's like 13,000 or something. 13,000, that's what it was, yeah, you're right. So here's a postal vehicle coming in. All right, so let's go take a look at the side here. What does she do? Oh, there you go. Thought that might be the case. So that's pretty cool. She loaded all her stuff up on the edge of the loading bay there and then went inside, opened the door and brought it all in. Work smarter, not harder. That's the post office motto. So this is the Arlington side of the post office, Arlington Street, the corner of Osborne Boulevard. After you, sir. Sorry? You guys with the news? I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Are you guys with the news? Am I with the news? No. No, no, no. Sorry? You're just taking pictures? I'm actually taking video. Video and audio. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. How you doing today? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. Have fun. I will. Start walking right in your way, aren't I? No, you're all good, man. Just I wanted to uh, say I appreciate you being out. I love seeing guys out taking pictures with a long lens and a real camera these days. Oh, right Instead of on. an iPhone, you know? Definitely. Right what are you shooting with? Um, Mark III, I think. Right on. Yeah. Is it for work or are you just having fun? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, no, not at all. Little column A, little column B. Oh, cool. Very I do cool. Uh, media production. Okay. And um, social media management, so. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I'm just going to get B-roll pictures of a busy downtown and a busy cafe. Awesome. Well, hopefully nobody uh, attacks you for having a camera in your hands. They could certainly try. Yeah, they could. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have any issues with anybody giving you a hard time? Nah. No, I'm surprised. Why? I get grief all the time with this thing. From who? People will just walk by me and say, did you just take my, I don't want to be on your video. Did you just take my picture? I mean, I have had people, but like, I guess maybe I've done it long enough that I just don't really give a fuck. Yeah, I'm a new kid, I'm a new kid on the block, man, so I'll figure it out. Oh, I get you. <laughs> well, the last like three years, I did it for United Way. So if anybody's like, hey, you're taking my picture, I'm doing it for a good cause. Oh, there you go. Get yeah, uppity with me. There you go. <laughs> well, have fun, man. Try to stay in the shade. Oh, yeah, you too. Right on. I think I found a good spot here. All right, let's get the wide angle working today.
No, sorry about it. Sault Ste. Marie police vehicle going by. It's vehicle number 10. Oh, my gimbal whacked out there a little bit. Sorry about that. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. What are you guys up to? Sorry? So what are you guys just recording here? What am I up to? Yeah. We what just are... had a complaint. The post office doesn't want you standing here recording them on their property. If you guys want, you can go across the road. That's perfectly fine. The post office doesn't want me here recording? Yeah. I'm on a sidewalk. Okay, great. Yeah. Let me go in and talk to him, see what's going on. Okay. Somebody actually called you from the... I just yeah. got here three minutes ago. Okay, I'll go take a look and see what's oh. going on. Can I just ask who I'm speaking with? Yeah, I'm Officer Atkins. Atkins, and yep. what's your badge number, badge number, sir? 2126. 2126. I'll go in and see what's going right, on. Let's okay? see what's happening. That's interesting. Yeah. Post office called because we're outside on the sidewalk and they don't want us taking video. Wow, that's not a good look for Sault Ste. Marie. Wow. Yeah, you want to meet and come on up here? Hello. Hi. Is your postmaster working? No, okay. So somebody actually called. What did they tell you? Yeah, I don't know. I just got my call. So I'll figure that out. I'm going to let you guys wow. know. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I just think that's fascinating. A firm. I was requesting 89 to come on up here. Okay. Isn't this Do you mind your, if I just uh, sneak around here real quick? Yeah, Excuse absolutely. me. Thank you. Is this, is this your uh, tourist season up here? Yeah, it's pretty busy up so here. So they're going to see a lot of people with cameras, aren't they? Uh, potentially, right? Yeah. You never oh. know. That's uh, it's fascinating. She's coming. Okay, appreciate it. I I guess it's Carla Alexander, Postmaster. Hello? Hi, is it okay if I speak to you real quick, Carla? Yeah. All right. Oh, we're going in the back. So the Postmaster's name is Carla Alexander. And I believe he said when he went back there, is it okay if I speak to you for a minute, Carla? So yeah. I think that's her. And that's her office. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow, called the police on a couple of guys standing out on the sidewalk for taking pictures in a, in a tourist town. In tourist season. They call a flick here if they see somebody with a camera. I'm really shocked. That's amazing. Well, here's the inside of the post office, folks. Thank you. You're welcome. Wasn't planning on coming in this quick. Yeah. Fascinating. And then they always like to have some private secret conversation in the back so they can, like, make up whatever they want. I don't understand. Why wouldn't you just talk that out out here with everybody present? I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, they never even came up to us in the first place. It's insanity. Your postmaster called the cops on us, man. You believe that? You're taking pictures outside? What a world. Welcome to Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. They just don't want you in their parking lot because it's federal property. You can stand on the sidewalks. More than welcome to do that. I was in the... Customer parking lot. Okay, they just don't want you on their parking lot, okay? So I'm just no, letting you I'm going to respectfully decline that request. Okay, all no, right. That's foolish. Okay, well, they don't want no. you on your parking lot, okay? Did you tell them I have a right to be here? Okay. Or I did you, did you, did you foster her fear? Okay. No, I'm just asking you. I let them know. What, right? what is it with you people not wanting to communicate? You expect okay. the worst. You think you're going to get put on YouTube and make a fool out of yourself, and that's what you do. Okay. Instead of just having a healthy conversation and acting... Cordial and professional. You Why would you do I, that? Can I grab your name? Absolutely not. You don't want to provide your name? No, not at all. You're what giving me. You? Do you want to give yours? You're giving me okay. unlawful directives, right. telling me you I can't stand, stand in a parking lot. I'm going to go right back in their parking lot. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead I don't care that. what they say. Okay. That's ridiculous. You have a good day. I was going to leave in a few minutes, and I'm going to hang out. Okay, have a good day. And I really think you guys should foster a little uh, communication and open dialogue with the citizenry here instead of behaving like that. Okay. It's really not a good look. Uh, I'm just here handling a complaint that I was assigned. Right, but I might have had some questions for you, and you're rushing off dismissing me can like I'm doing something wrong. Right yeah, you can answer questions okay, well, for me. What can I answer Did for Did you me? inform her that I'm doing nothing wrong? I informed her that you were on the property, okay, and they didn't want you here, and that's what I had No, she informed you that I was yep. on the property. So I what did you inform her? It doesn't matter what I told her. Sure right? it does. It doesn't matter what I told her. Sure right? it does. What I do you mean? It, it doesn't matter. She called law enforcement, okay. and it doesn't matter what law enforcement told her. Is that I what you're telling me? I sergeant coming down here. You can talk to him, okay? I'm not interested in talking to anybody because okay. this is this is the, the conversation right, have you have day, with... Sir. 
Sault Ste. Marie Police. Sault Ste. Marie. Whatever it is. Yeah, that's ridiculous, guys. And then he doesn't even want to have a conversation about it. And let her know. So while he's still here, I'm going to walk right back into their parking lot. It's the stupidest thing I ever heard. So I'm walking back into their parking lot. There's the police officer. He's got his sergeant on the way. And we'll see what the sergeant has to say. Well, what are you going to do? So here I am in the parking lot. There he is parked on the street. Public parking lot. It's not even that she said she didn't want us inside the post office. She doesn't want us in their public parking lot taking pictures. Well, now that's where I'm going to be. And here comes the sergeant. He's probably going to drive off and not want to speak to us either. It's vehicle number one. Oh, he must be an important guy. Nice day, guys. How are we doing, Sarge? All right. Just another day. Did you let your officer know there's nothing wrong with us being in the post office parking lot? Well, you are walking in the street right now, right? No, I'm in a parking space. No. You're allowed to walk in a parking guys, spot. I'm why do you guys play that game, man? I'm not going to argue, guys. I'm not going to argue with you have either, nice but why day. don't you make yourself look good instead of have acting nice like a day. fool? I'm not. Yeah, you are. Nice you are. And you're telling me I'm in the street? Okay. Man, kick rocks. Get the hell out of here. Adios. These people are fools. Yeah, you got some, you got some dumbass cops Finally, in this yeah. town, man. Finally, yeah. you see it. Yep. Oh, I'm seeing it. And we just yeah. documented it, and a couple of hundred thousand people will see it next. Good. Yeah. Good. No, expose it. Clowns. No, Unbelievable. You made my entire fucking year. What's yeah. your first name, man? Mike. Mike. Jason. Nice to meet you, Pleasure boss. Pleasure to meet you, boss. Hey. And you? Jason. Keep Jason. There you go. I'll never forget your name. You keep filming and spreading the word about this shit. It's unbelievable, man. We were, you know, we were standing right here in the parking lot, and they called the we could, five minutes, and they yeah. called the police on us for taking Dude. pictures in the parking Dude. lot. I. You know, uh, you know, uh, you know, like a survival, not a survival vest, but, you know, just uh, a utility vest. Right. I put that on, and someone said I was walking around in hardcore body armor. Like the police do. Yeah. Yeah. You want to, you want to, you want to know the epitome of ignorance? Right here. Well, we're going to stick around and check it out a little longer. Man, I wish I had more. Oh, my God. Bye. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Hey, appreciate Keep you. smiling. Don't let them get you down. They're going to try hard. Have a good one, guys. To live by. Don't give them the win, man. Appreciate you, man. So you heard those sirens going. I guess the police now have better things to do than tell me I can't be in this parking lot. Stupidest thing I ever heard. And we will be going back in to get my stamp. Now, I just want to give you forewarning. They may decide to uh, deny us service when we go back in for the stamp at this point because they're going to be butthurt that they couldn't chase us out of here. But, uh, you know, you guys got to remember, I don't have the ability out here on the street at the moment to affect change legal change or uh, people's opinion change there's not enough time in the day um, and it can't be done here on the street my mission here is to expose what's going on the good bad and the ugly and you know we love the good and we prefer the good uh, but the bad and ugly are uh, far from gone so we're gonna record that too and document it and uh, whether these people like it or not we are free Americans expressing our right to be free and uh, nobody's gonna stop us so stay tuned I can't stand in the road. So think about that. He says to me, oh, you're standing in the road, right? When you park your car and you get out of your car, you're allowed to be in the parking space. They can't tell you you can't walk. How are you supposed to get out of your car if you can't walk in a parking space? Yeah. And that's where I was. Shut him up immediately. But he, it's a shame he had to go there. He had to go he there. To do something, yeah. He should have just said, hey, you guys are free to film, man. Sorry about the confusion. Yeah, as long as you're in a public parking lot, you're in a public place. I have no issues with it. I've had it, guys. Enjoying your time in uh, Sault Ste. Marie? Anything I can point you out to? Be an ambassador for your town, you police that are out there watching. You know, it makes you look awful. And, uh, you know, you're not going to be proud of yourself when you see the video. You're really not. So do things that you're going to be proud of. Don't do things that you're going to be ashamed of, especially when you're in a position of authority the way you guys are. It's, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And then if there were any uh, customers or just civilians walking or citizens walking around that would have overheard that conversation, they would have jumped right in and supported the cops blindly without even knowing what was going on. So I'm going to ask you guys a favor. Let's bring critical thinking back to the game and uh, 
cut this nonsense out. And I'm talking to law enforcement out there. What the hell is the problem? What's really the problem? You guys get calls all the time about pe people doing things that are perfectly lawful and you have to go out and address them. Don't you want to minimize that and educate people, each one? And then as time goes by, people would know better? No, rather just foster the fear and anxiety, keep everybody afraid. Keep, keep them thinking they need the police to show up and save them. Go ahead. We gotta get that body cam footage from when he went in there. From when he went into the, the postmaster's he office? Got about what he told yep. Yeah, he didn't want to tell me for some reason. Oh, these guys are just a couple of clowns from YouTube here to stir up shit. Well, you know, the way I look at it is, yeah, I may be stirring it up, but you put it in the pot. I didn't have any shit when I got here. So we'll stick around and see if we can get any positive uh, elements into this video. That was terrible. Sault Ste. Marie, your post office and your police just let you down miserably. Tourist town. Say again? From the, it's so stupid too because from the instant the first cop pulled up, they know they can't do anything about it. He was trying to tell you you got to go across the street first. Yeah. Well, that's what it is, guys. They hope you don't know what your rights are and try to give you uh, unlawful directives in the hopes that they're just going to, you know, the cops are like electricity and water. They're just trying to find the easiest, easiest path to the destination they want to get to. So if they can lie to you and just tell you you're not allowed to be here and you fall for that crap and leave, that makes their life easy and see you later. Um, when somebody knows their rights and knows what the law is and isn't going to be bamboozled like that, they get upset. And that's what you just saw here today. And you know why they act like that is because in their mind, they, they say to themselves, we know what they're doing. They're on YouTube. This video is going to go on YouTube. They want to make clowns out of us. We're not going to give them that. So they show up and make clowns out of themselves, yeah. which is all anybody can do anyway. I can't make anybody look like a clown and I can't make anybody look good. All I can do is record whatever you choose to do. How am I going to make you look bad? Oh, here's a uh, Michigan State Police vehicle. Emergency support team. And you see how stupid they are too? They actually admit that it's because of the camera. He didn't say they don't want you in the parking lot. Yeah. He said they don't want you in the parking lot taking pictures. So 100% about the camera. We're just getting a thumbs up from this guy in the uh, Penske truck here. And that brings up a good point, guys. If you're ever out and about and you happen to see us doing an audit, come up and say hello. Uh, even if you don't like what we do, come up and tell me you don't like what I do. Um, you know, happy to hear any constructive criticism you have. And also uh, very happy to meet any supporters we might have. So um, feel free to come up and shake hands, fist bump, and say hello. Engine 52. Dude, the next person that says anything to, do, anything to me, I'm going to bust out the Greek accent. For those of you who don't know, I, uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned it before. My uh, stepfather, when I was growing up from the time I was seven years old, is Greek from Greece. And those of you who have Greek relatives will know what I mean. There's Greek and then there's Greek from Greece. And uh, I can do his accent pretty good. And uh, I even know a few choice words in Greek. Definitely don't speak Greek, though. That's not what I'm claiming. Enough to fool you, though, I think. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. Postal workers are in there going, yeah, we called the cops on them, but there's nothing they can do. So sorry about that. More fear fostering. Let's all huddle together and make each other feel warm and fuzzy. Somebody's doing something we don't like or we don't understand. Panic. I'm sorry, I don't understand my English. It's not that good. No, I'm serious. Can you tell me what you're saying? I, I didn't hear you, ma'am. I'm sorry. I don't know what she says. I'm from Greece. Thank you, sir. What's your first name? Right on. Got you. 
I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these people, man. I mean, come on, it's a camera. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to bite you. Oh, my God. Maybe I'm going to make you famous. Hey, smile, wave, and say... No fuckery. That's it. I can count from 1 to 10 in Greek. For those of you who are Greek and don't believe me. Ena, theo, tria, tesera, pende, exe, epta, octo, enea, deca. And I can also say, skatana fas, vrasta meti hufta. Go find out what that means. Skatana fas, vrasta meti hufta. And my accent's on point. How are we doing, boss? Craig, nice to meet you guys, man. Right on, man. What's your first name? Craig. Craig, pleasure to meet yeah, you, Craig. Nice to meet you. How you guys doing? Yeah, I saw you guys were out in Marquette. I was hoping you guys would swing by here. Yeah, well, can't pass up uh, Sault Ste. Marie. For sure. I'm just glad I learned how to say it before I got here. Right. Yeah. Did you guys? Sure. Yeah, I haven't warned them or anything, so. Cool. Yeah, don't tell them. They're all on their own. We'll be, we'll be nice to them. For sure. It's a good thing he's taller than yeah, me. Yeah, for sure. Right Take on, brother. Gentlemen. Appreciate you, man. Have a good day. And see, even with that, guys, as uh, benign as that might seem to you, who knows? That guy could be the chief of police. I don't know. I, I, I take him at his word, but I don't know who he is. So, you know, you, you kind of uh, don't offer up any more information than you'd want your worst enemy to know type of thing. Whistling diesel. So what do you think of this uh, 255? Do you want to go in and get the stamp? Yeah, sure. Huh? Let's, let's do it. Let me make sure I got my money ready. Now, I'm, again, I'm going to just mention, we may be denied service here. And if they do decide to deny a service, there's really nothing about it. I can't jump over the counter and force them to sell me a stamp. Um, but we could document the fact that they denied service and uh, take it from there. So let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. Wish us luck. Let's take a quick look around here first. They have the old, uh, these are cool, I appreciate these things. They got all the old, uh, old style PO boxes, yeah. That's the word I was looking for. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we have the document here. Most postal employees fail to read. Yeah. Poster seven, mandatory reading for all postal employees and all police that show up here. So uh, this post office was dedicated in 1958. Dwight D. Eisenhower, president, Arthur E. Summerfield, postmaster general, and deputy postmaster general, Edson O. Sessions. Very cool. Okay, Absolutely thanks. amazing. So you have all your shipping supplies and Hallmark cards and gift cards and all that kind of fun stuff. How are we doing today, sir? Hello. Can I just get one stamp, please? Sure. Thank you. How's the world treating you today, Isaac? Good. I wish I could say the same, but <laughs> maybe it'll get better. There's always hope. Need a receipt? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Any other stamps to take with you or just the one? No, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Isaac gets the Employee of the Day Award here. We appreciate you, man. Sure. 58, 60, 75, it puts you at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 makes it 10. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We'll get you that receipt. Awesome. Yeah. A little survey. You can share your experience with us. I will. Absolutely. Do you know if your uh, postmaster is available by any chance? 
Carla, is I'm it? For her. I'm sorry? I'll quick check. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Just want to say goodbye before I leave. All right. She's, uh, let, me, let me predict it now. She's on a phone call. Yeah. Unavailable at the moment. She said, if you'd like to leave your name, phone number, blood type, social security number, mother's name and address, date of birth, she would be happy to get back to you. Yeah, she's busy. I had a feeling. All right, cool. Just tell her the reason I asked was I just was hoping to uh, just leave her with a smile on her face instead of having any. I was going to explain to her exactly what we were doing. Okay. Try to leave her with a smile and not have any uh, anxiety or fear about what we were doing. But if she wants to hang with that, I guess she can stay with that. But you're the champ here today, Isaac, and we appreciate you. And I hope your demeanor spreads to the rest of your crew other, other than the other way around. Don't let, the, don't let the world get you down. Keep smiling. Appreciate you. Thank you. She's busy. She's calling the cops on somebody who's outside trying to catch a butterfly. <laughs> All right, well, got my stamp, got my receipt. Put those away for Mrs. AP. For those of you who don't know, Mrs. AP's got a nice scrapbook working with all the uh, stamps and receipts from all the post offices we go to across the country. And there's a lot of them. I mean, it's gotta be a hundred by now. I'm guessing we never counted them. Uh, we decided we purposely were not gonna count them until uh, she fills the book up that she's working on. So we'll uh, keep you posted on that as I'm putting my stuff in my pocket here. Sioux St. Marie Fire Department, paramedic. Well, all right, guys. Um, you saw how that went. Interesting experience here in Sioux St. Marie. First day here. Uh, so this is an interesting start to things. And uh, I don't know. I think the takeaway from today's is Try to have more conversation and open up dialogue with people uh, instead of hiding in back rooms and having private conversations about things that don't exist or uh, things you aren't proud of talking about. Uh, bring it all out in the open. Let's put the truth out there. Let's put the honest, open conversations out there and uh, stop hiding in the back room so we can get a real reality-based uh, situation going instead of some uh, one-sided nonsense uh, like you saw here today. Um, but that's it. So. Always like to remind you guys before we take off, if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do and you want to support what we do, best way you could do that, hands down, is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. I know me and the Watchmen are out here getting an education every day, and I wouldn't change that for the world. Um, education and information are everywhere. You just have to be receptive, open your mind, and take it all in. Uh, you'll be glad you did. Um, so that's it. I also invite you to do the same for his channel. Kid puts a lot of work into his videos. You'll see stuff on his channel you won't see here, uh, such as his narration, information, maps, all kinds of stuff. So I invite you to check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. Show him some support. You won't be sorry you did. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and see what else we could find for you here in Sioux St. Marie. So coming to you from the United States Post Office in Sioux St. Marie, Watching the Watchmen. I'm against it, Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out. Oh, Canada.